Hey guys, Coda2393 here bringing you a gameplay of Black Ops. This is Domination on Array. Um, I won't be talking much about this actual at all. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm actually going to start talking about my top 10 horror movies. Um, just like Wings of Redemption did, I thought it would be a good thing to do um, to talk about this. So, anyway, if I randomly like stop talking for like any brief moment, I'm sorry, that's because I forgot my chain of thought because I'm going over a few movies. Um, depending on how long this video goes for, it will depend on how long or how many movies I tell you about. I won't get to obviously the last three because, um, yeah, I think you know, it's only a six minute video. Um, anyway guys, these are going to be very controversial. I can just see that happening. Um, I'm gonna, I might get a little bit of hate for these, but um, bear with me with these, these are my opinions and not, no one else's. Um, so at number 10, we have Sleepy Hollow from 1999. Um, this is maybe one of the first uh, horror slash thriller movies I've ever seen. And um, I can still remember it as a, as a kid watching this movie. Um, and it really actually did give me the chills. Um, it's listed as a, a fantasy mystery thriller movie, but I, I thought it was a, a horror at the time. A lot of gore in this movie. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite movies I've seen. I was about five when I saw it. Um, oh, when I seen it. Fail. Um, it starred Johnny Depp. Um, Tim Burton directed it, and I thought it had a great, great story. It was about Ichabod Crane, who went to Sleepy Hollow to investigate the, 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 the decapitations of three people, and um, that was about a legendary apparition called the Headless Horseman. Awesome storyline. I absolutely really enjoy that movie. Anyway, I'm going to continue on now. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with these movies because I have a six minute video to go over. Anyway, number nine. Now, here comes the controversy. Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, I just heard a lot of people sigh. Um, this movie, um, I'm a massive, massive fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Friday the 13th movies. I love every single one of them. Maybe besides one. I think it was Halloween 4. I that movie. Okay. Um, anyway. Freddy vs. Jason was uh, probably really the fourth Friday the 13th slash Nightmare on Elm Street movie I've seen. So, you know, I didn't have a lot of introduction into these movies and I didn't know much about them. Except for, obviously, Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. Um, this was pretty much the... Uh, I, don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. It was pitting evil against evil and I reckon it was awesome. There's some really cool things in this movie. It came out in 2003, and I can still remember I got up and I saw it at the DVD store, and I was like, oh my god, are you serious? I begged my dad to let me go and get it, and um, it took some convincing, but when I got it, I enjoyed the movie. I reckon it was damn awesome. But um, I like the whole, you know, the storylines. I don't really go much on the storyline of the movie, it's just the fact that I really enjoyed the... Um, the gore and the horror in the movie and also seeing Jason and Freddy together in a one movie was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, on to the eighth movie um, is Aliens vs. Predator. Now, I can I can see a lot of criticism going to come from this too, but I chose this movie over Aliens or Predators because it puts the two together. I love the games, like those games like I just grew up on, they were awesome, I absolutely loved them with passion, and seeing these these two just like pit, in, pit themselves together in an atmosphere, it was really claustrophobic, it was awesome, it came out this, a year after Freddy vs. Jason, so it was like, oh yeah, let's let's just make Aliens vs. Predator as well, um, and it was it's just an awesome movie, I really enjoyed that movie, and it had some awesome fight scenes. And um, the second one was pretty good, but it was sort of a disappointment compared to the first one, even though the Predator was kick ass. Anyway, number seven, this was Wings. Wings is, um, I don't know what one it was exactly, but 
He also said this is one of his favorites, and I agree with him. This is Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Now, this is one of the early movies I've seen as well, just like Sleepy Hollow. And that movie, as in Halloween 3, creeped the hell out of me. That movie was scary. Now, um, you know, some of those the acting was phenomenal. And it copped a lot of hate because um, Michael Myers was absent in the movie. Um, I thought it was an awesome movie. I really enjoyed it. I, um, the death scenes in that movie was insane. Um, some really nasty things in that and I just reckon it was an awesome movie for that time too it was like 1982 so um, yeah it was an awesome movie those were my 10, 9th, 8th and 7th top favourite horror films so um, be tuned in for the next 3 to come out soon guys hope you enjoyed this gameplay hope you enjoyed my commentary on horror movies that I enjoy see you guys later yeah bye <laughs>